Hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we'll take up some problems from kinematics from the book Pathfinder. And the first question of the day is CYU 22. So we have a deer that is at a distance of 48 meters from a leopard. The leopard starts chasing the deer and the deer immediately starts running away. Okay, with a constant velocity. So the deer's speed is given to be a constant. The leopard cannot run at high speeds for a very long time and has to slow down due to fatigue. So the leopard's speed is not constant. And it's given that if we assume the leopard starts with an initial speed of 30 and reduces its speed in equal steps of five meter per second in every two second interval, at what minimum speed must the deer run to escape from the leopard? Okay, so let's first draw a rough sketch. Okay, so let's say the leopard starts from this particular location and the deer is initially present at this particular location and the initial separation between them is given to be 48 meters. Another info that is given to us is that the leopard's initial speed is 30 meters per second. Now as it, it's given that its speed reduces in equal steps of five meter per second every two seconds, meaning it will travel with constant speed of 30 for the first two seconds. And after that, its speed becomes 25 and at time t equal to four seconds, it will become 20. At six seconds, it'll become 15, so on and so forth. So for every two seconds, it's a constant. Okay, and after that it reduces by five. So that's how the leopard speed is varying. Now the deer speed is a variable, meaning we, we have to choose the speed of the deer, right? And we have to ensure that the deer never gets caught. That's the goal. And we also have to decide the minimum case. Let's say the deer speed is 30. So if it is 30, then the deer will never be caught. Why? Because the leopard speed is 30 initially and it will keep decreasing, right? So, so what will happen is the distance between them will increase and the deer will never be caught v equal to 30 meter per second this is definitely not the minimum case right so we can write it down as a simple fact if we want so basically if the velocity of the deer is greater than the velocity of the leopard and the leopard is behind the deer okay so basically like let's say the leopard is somewhere over here and the deer is somewhere over here okay so then in this situation the deer will never be caught okay okay so now let's analyze the problem case by case so first let's talk about the time interval between zero seconds and two seconds okay so in this time frame guys from zero to two seconds in this time frame the speed of the leopard is 30 meters per second so if i want to figure out its displacement in the first two seconds it is going to be the speed multiplied by the time which is 60 meters right so if you observe in the first two seconds the leopard covers a distance of 60 meters which is actually 12 meters to the right of the initial position of the deer let's call these points as a and b in this situation the leopard is at a distance of 12 meters to the right so after two seconds this is where the leopard is located so now obviously we want the deer to be in front of the leopard right because if the deer at this point of time is somewhere over here then that means the deer was caught before two seconds right we don't want the deer to be caught right which means in this time frame of two seconds, the deer has to cover a distance greater than 12 meters. So which means this constant speed at which the deer is traveling must be greater than 12 meters divided by two seconds, which means it must be greater than six meters per second. So if it travels at six meter per second, guys, the deer will be at this particular location. This is a bare minimum, right? If it is traveling at speed less than six meter per second, what will happen is that the deer will be caught at some time less than two seconds. Now we obviously don't want that, right? So we definitely want the speed to be greater than six meter per second. So is the answer to the question six meter per second? Now let's say the deer was traveling at six meter per second. So observe what will happen. So if it travels at six meter per second, the deer will also be over here, right at right where the leopard is. And its speed is going to be six meters per second because the deer's speed is constant, right? Whereas the leopard speed is different. We're talking about t equal to two seconds, right? So right after t equal to two seconds, guys, the velocity of the leopard will decrease by five and now it is 25. So if you observe the leopard speed is 25 meter per second. Now you guys can clearly see that in this situation, the leopard will clearly catch the deer, right? Because the deer's speed is smaller and the, than the leopard's speed and they are actually very close to each other. So the le leopard will definitely catch the deer in this case. So actually V equal to 6 meter per second is the wrong answer. So the deer definitely has to run faster than this. So now let's talk about the time frame from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. In the first 2 seconds, the distance covered by the leopard was 60 meters. In the first 4 seconds will be that 60 meters plus the distance covered in the time from 2 to 4 seconds. And in that time frame, the speed of the leopard is 25 times 2. So this comes out to be 110 meters. Okay. So basically an additional distance of 50 meters got added. Okay. Which basically means that t equal to 4 seconds, the leopard will be at a distance of 12 plus 50, which is 62 meters. So the leopard will now be at this particular point. 
Okay, so again, using the same concept, guys, the deer starts from here, right? So we want the deer to at least cover a distance of 62 meters in this particular situation. So we want the deer's speed should be to be at least greater than 62 meters divided by four seconds, which comes out to be 15.5 meters per second. So if it travels exactly at 15.5 meters per second, then the deer will be over here as well. So after four seconds, both the deer and the leopard will be at the same location if the deer was traveling at 15.5. Uh, in If we assume D speed is 15.5, it will have a speed of 15.5. And now as we're talking about t equal to four seconds, uh, right after t equal to four seconds, the speed of the leopard will become 30 minus 10, which is 20. So at this particular location, the leopard speed is 20 meter per second. So now again, as you can see, the leopard is faster, so it will catch the deer. So even this is not the correct answer. Okay, so now let's talk about T from zero to six seconds. T equals four to six guys. The speed of the leopard is 20 meters per second, right? Which means it covers a distance of 20 multiplied by two, which is 40 meters. Okay, so now, so all we have to do is add a 40 meter distance to 62 meters, which means now the leopard is at a distance of 62 plus 40, which is, which is 102 meters from the initial position of the deer. So now we clearly want the deer to cover a distance of 102, at least in a time period of six seconds. So which means V is greater than 17 meters per second. Okay, now let's assume it travels at 17 meter per second, which would mean that the deer is also at the same location as the leopard and it will have a speed in the situation of 17 meters per second. And what will be the speed of the leopard? So after six seconds, it will again reduce by five meter per second. So its speed is going to be 15 meters per second. So now in this situation, as you guys can see, uh, just before t equal to six, its speed was 20, which means the distance between the leopard and the deer was decreasing, right? Because a leopard is faster. So it was getting closer and closer to the deer. But right after t equal to six seconds, its speed is now less than the deer's speed. So which means after this situation, the deer will never be caught as the deer's speed is greater now. So from here, we can easily see that the speed of the deer must be greater than or equal to 17 meters per second. This is the situation that happens at equality. Both the both of them after six seconds will be at a distance of 102 meters and the leopard speed will quickly become 15 and the deer speed is 17. And after this, the deer will never be caught. So yeah, so and therefore the answer to this question will be 17 meters per second. So now you may have a question, why didn't I analyze t equal to five seconds or something like that, which is basically between the two second, four second, six second mark. Okay, so let's just take the example of t equal to five seconds. Okay, this is the t equal to six second situation, right? So at t equal to five seconds, the leopard will be somewhere over here. And what will be its speed? Its speed will be 20 meters per second, right? So again, guys, the uh, you, you guys can actually figure out the displacement in this case, and you can figure out the re required speed for the leopard. It will come out to be some value less than 17, okay? So let's say it is like 16.5 meter per second or something. So in this situation, you guys can clearly see that the leopard is faster, that the leopard speed is 20 meter per second. And the leopard speed is not going to change till t equal to six seconds. So obviously the deer will be caught here. So you guys can uh, think, think of it case by case and you can come to the conclusion that it has to be 17. And if it is greater than 17, then then it's pretty obvious because um, let's say the speed of the deer was 18 meter per second. So then the deer will be over here, right? At t equal to six seconds. And here its speed is 18 meter per second and the leopard will become 15 at this particular location. And after this point of time, the separation between them will start to grow. This is pretty obvious that the deer will never be caught here. Okay, so the limiting case is clearly 17 meter per second when both of their separation will become zero. And after this point, the deer will start moving faster. So therefore, V equal to 17 meter per second is the minimum speed with which the deer has to run. So that's about it for this question, guys. Now let's move to the next question. So it's given that on a large slippery ground, a boy left his dog sitting and walks away with a constant velocity of two meters per second. When he is 199 meters away from the dog, the dog decides to catch him and thereafter moves together. The dog cannot develop acceleration more than two meter per second square in any direction. In what minimum time will the dog meet the boy? So the information given to us is that the maximum acceleration of the dog is two meters per second square and the boy is traveling with a constant speed of two meters per second okay so let's say the boy is over here and the dog is over here so when the separation between them guys it became 199 meters is when the dog decided to catch the boy so at this particular instant the boy was again walking with a speed of 
टू मीटर्स पर सेकेंड तो नाउ गैस द इंटरेस्टिंग आइडिया इज दैट द बॉय इज मूविंग विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड राइट एंड ही विल कीप वॉकिंग विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड जस्ट टेक द बॉय एज अवर रेफरेंस फ्रेम ओके सो इफ यू टेक द बॉय एज अवर रेफरेंस देन वी हैव टू रिवर्स एंड गिव हिस वेलासिटी टू द डॉग एज वेल right basically the initial condition of the dog is that it moves with a speed of 2 meter per second away from the boy now he has to start the journey and cover 199 meters so now what we can do is we can draw a vt curve okay so now we have to choose one direction to be a positive direction so i am going to take the leftward direction uh, as positive okay so initially the velocity is minus 2 meters per second which, which means the init initially a uh, time t equal to 0 it's over here so now what will happen this is pretty similar to a lot of problems that we did uh, the dog will try to accelerate with his full full potential but he won't keep accelerating because because by the time he reaches the boy he needs to uh, he needs to come to rest okay so he basically he will accelerate and then he will decelerate so that finally when he reaches the boy his speed should be zero so basically the dog will accelerate to the full potential and then it will decelerate with maximum potential and finally come to rest when he reaches the boy so this is how the vt curve should look like okay and the area under this particular curve should be equal to 199 meters so what the area of this small triangle let's try to figure it out so guys the acceleration of the uh, dog is 2 meters per second square and the velocity initial velocity is 2 meter per second so the zero will be at 1 second right so basically it will come to rest in 1 second so the area of this triangle is uh, half bh which will be 1 meter so guys if the net displacement is 199 meters and this negative area is 1 meter which means the positive area needs to be 200 meters right why because 200 minus 1 is the total displacement and that is 199 meters so now all we have to do is figure out the area of the triangle so let's say the base of the triangle has a length of t so by symmetry we can say that half of the base is t by 2 and uh, we know the slope of this triangle right the sl uh, the slope of this is 2 meters per second square so the height of this triangle is t by 2 multiplied by 2 which is actually t basically t by 2 tan theta so the area of this big triangle is half base height and this would and this should be equal to 200 which means t square equals 400 or t equals 20 meters per second and basically we had to figure out the time so that will be this 20 meter per second plus the 1 second so the total time taken by the dog to reach the boy is 21 seconds so yeah that was the solution to this problem okay so that's it for this video guys if you enjoy the video please do like share and subscribe and yeah i'll bring more such videos in the future so yeah that's about it thanks for watching